Hey, this is Lynn. Happy Monday. This is way in Monday for me, and I hope that everybody's had a wonderful weekend. If you did not get a chance to look at the video that I published on Saturday, which was from my Dave and I went geocaching. So we had a, such a good time. He is so dramatic. He's so competitive. And he was not happy that we were not able to find that cache. Now, watch it because we did go back, so you'll see what happened. But one cool thing, which is like I consider a non scale victory, is that I hiked up a hill. And it wasn't a long, like really super long hill, and it wasn't as steep as the hills in Seattle, but it was a much, much steeper hill than I'm used to hiking up. I mean, our house is on a slight incline, you know, as far as the street is a little bit of a hill. Everything here in Washington is hilly, nothing is flat, at least on the West Coast. So um, for me, that was a big non-scale victory to actually hike up that hill. I was so out of breath, oh my goodness. But I did it, so that's a huge, huge victory for me. Uh, I am filming on my cell phone today because I have maxed out the memory on my computer, so I've gotta do a purge on my computer. So I can never figure out with my cell phone where to look. Like, I think the camera's over there but I tend to wanna to look at myself in the face and then I'm kind of looking off in the distance. I've, those of you who film yourself, you, you know what I mean. So I apologize if I'm not looking at you straight in the eye, I will do my very best to try to look away from myself, which is so awkward. But anyways, um, so we went on geocaching twice this week. I did publish the video of the, of the bigger, the longer excursion, which was on Saturday. And then Sunday after church, we went out and we found a couple more geocaches. There was another one we couldn't find, which is gonna drive Dave crazy. We will eventually find it. We're gonna have to really go, uh, you know, look a little bit harder. It was kind of cold, but I think the location that it was is busy during the week. So we're not gonna go out again until maybe another Sunday morning. Um, when there's nobody there because it's in a more of a business parking lot. And uh, I have a feeling a mail carrier might have placed it because the comment says that this is a location on the, the route and there's like big mail, you know, the office mailboxes. And so I'm kind of wondering, hmm. Anyways, it's gonna bug me until we go find it. But that's what I like about geocaching. I get exercise. I'm like hiking up a hill, which I normally wouldn't do. Walking a lot farther without even thinking about it because I'm in search of some of a treasure. And so it was a lot of fun. It was something that I used to do when I was in better shape. And now that I have lost as much weight as I've lost, I'm actually able to go out and do it again, which is pretty, pretty phenomenal. It's my absolute favorite exercise. So I'm sure I've mentioned that many times over and over again, but if you have never geocached, download the app. And there's a free version and then there's a premium version. Now we get the premium version, which is like $40 for the year. Uh, but the free version has tons of caches out there. So if you wanna learn how to geocache, download the app. There's lots of videos on YouTube for how to, you know, how to geocache for beginners, the geocaching website has plenty of information. They have their own videos, but it's a lot of fun, especially if those of you don't really like to actually go out and purposefully exercise, like go to the gym or, you know, where you're going and doing something strictly just to exercise. I, I don't like that kind of exercise. I just wanna get more movement into my life. And that geocaching allows me to do that. And it's every time it's like a little mini adventure. And often it takes you to places you never would have gone to. Like the one on Saturday, both of the places we went to, I had never been to before. Now the second place, which was a park that was on an old military base, um, Dave had been to before, but I hadn't. And we are gonna go back because there's a lot of trails and things that we didn't even venture out onto. We did do a little bit of, um, little bit of activity in the, Sorry, I just got this, like, my phone battery is low. So if it goes out, I will, I'll pick this up again and splice it together. Anyways, let's go on to the results. I had really good results this week. My scale was down 2.4 pounds, which was great. My fat-free body weight went up by 0.6. Now this week, 
all 0.6 of that was muscle. So there was really no fluctuation this week in water. There was no fluctuation in bone. Last week I gained bone, so I was pretty happy about that. Um, but my good tissue, which was muscle, went up by 0.6. So my abs, my total fat loss for the week was three pounds. It continues to blow me away. And I feel as though I need to remind myself to psychologically prepare that this is not always gonna be the case. It just seems like every week, week after week, I'm having these great results. And I don't wanna to get to the point where I just anticipate them and I get too disappointed if I don't. Now I've had weeks where I've plateaued. I've had weeks, a couple, you know, weeks where I've gained maybe a little bit, barely anything like 0.2 of a pound. But overall, this is working really well for me and I'm feeling so much better. My inflammation is so much better. Um, my reactivity with my mast cell activation syndrome is greatly improved. It's a, always a little bit worse over the winter time, but I just I just feel so much better. And I do have a funny story to share, which I'll share at the end that happened yesterday. Um, but anyways, if you want to look too, my visceral fat went down. It went down to 23. Now it started at 30. And so that's seven pounds of visceral fat that I've lost. The visceral fat is the fat around your organs, that belly fat which is the really, really unhealthy fat. Now, again, I've mentioned this before, but the upper limit of ideal for me is 15. So I still have eight to go. Yeah, eight to go, can't do math. But I've lost seven, I'm almost halfway. I'm probably consider it, consider it halfway. Um, but yeah, I'm getting there. And that's, that's probably one reason why I'm feeling so much better. I'm feeling a little more, like I'm more and more, I'm feeling emptier inside. Um, you know, I can see that my belly fat is decreasing, which is really good. Um, because I definitely want to have, you know, no, well, I gotta have some belly fat, but I'd like to be in the ideal range, that's for sure. So overall, since the beginning when I started, which was the end of May, I have lost a total on the scale of 57.4 pounds. And then my body composition scale says I have gained 21 pounds of good tissue. So that's a total of 20 pounds of bone. Sorry, 20 pounds of muscle. Man, 20 pounds of bone, that would be a little too much. But <laughs> 20 pounds of muscle, 2.1 pounds of bone, and then the difference is the water. So I've gained, lost some water overall. Um, but that fluctuates from week to week. So, you know, there's some weeks where it's like I haven't lost any water and there's other weeks where I've like gained a little bit and there's weeks I've lost. So this time it's, it's a little bit of a net loss, which is great because it's probably inflammation that I'm, I'm losing. Um, so yeah, overall, I can be happier with the results. The metabolic age won't, won't budge. I one of these days, I'm going to be able to do the sprinting. If you watch Dr. Paul Amara and you watch a lot of other YouTubers, they do the sprinting challenges. I still weigh too much, and it's still not really safe for me to do the sprinting challenge because even brisk walking, sometimes I still tweak my knee. Um, so I have to get to the point where I'm, I've lost more weight to where I don't put myself at risk. And that's really true with people who are morbidly obese. You cannot just go and start jogging and you just can't because you are going to put yourself at risk for injury and then that's going to set back, set back your progress. So it's really important to just do what you can do, the pace that you can do it at and just be consistent with it. Not that I am always consistent, but I do my best. I'm getting better as time goes on and I'm finding that I'm wanting to get out there and exercise. Again, geocaching, I am I don't know if I'm ever gonna be one of those people that goes out on a jog. I never have been in my whole life, even when I was thin. I, I never enjoyed jogging, but who knows? I mean, this is a whole new world. You never know what's gonna happen. So anyways, fantastic, really good week. And so I did have a funny story from yesterday. So we went to church yesterday. We always go to church, but our church is actually a satellite church off of a bigger church that, um, and so we, my husband had heard that the founding pastor who had retired like a year ago, um, was coming back to, to preach. And so we went and we know a lot of people from there. 
Um, but there's one young man that we know very well, and he is 33 years old. He calls me Mama Lynn, but I hadn't seen him in a few months. And he works, he was working behind the coffee counter. He wasn't work, working with customers at the time. He was just kind of stocking some stuff. And so I called out to him and he saw me. He was like, ah, you know, he was so happy. He ran over, gave us hugs. And then he looks me up and down. And he let all these expletives fly out of his mouth. Yes, sometimes Christians cuss in church. Yeah. Anyways, I just I was I was laughing because I was like, I had to laugh because he was just astounded at my weight loss. And he was just like, holy this and oh my gosh, you like I said should you be cussing in church? And he goes, I think the situation warrants it. <laughs> anyways, I, f I forgave him. Hopefully God will forgive him. But anyways, this is, this is a funny thing because with him, like when he gets really excited, <laughs> his old language comes back. <laughs> anyway, so it was, it was pretty funny. He called me a hot mama and I was just, you know, it made my day because like I see myself all the time. I have people I'm around most of the time, they see me and they do notice that my, my weight loss, but he hadn't seen me for several months and he was like blown away. Like it, I kind of probably don't even look too much like the same person. And there were quite a few other people there who made comments. In fact, one man came up to us and he, he, he looked at us and Dave's lost weight too. And he and his wife and said, okay, we need to start watching Lynn's videos. <laughs> so hi, Nick, if you're watching this. <laughs> Anyways, I love comments like that because it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I'm finally getting to the place where people are noticing. And, um, you know, I hope they do. I don't, you don't have to watch my videos, but just watch whatever is going to inspire you and what's going to motivate you. And, um, you know, start it. It won't hurt. It'll definitely help your life. And I know what it's done for me has been pretty phenomenal. So anyways, that is it for today. I hope everyone's going to have a fantastic week and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.